this is Yolanda Van Veen with HowToGardenVideos.com and today we're in beautiful Portland, Oregon with my good friend William McLenathan of Vizcaya Gardens and Nursery. Now he has a beautiful garden and there's lots of statues throughout the garden that add such an essence of mystical feelings and just it's a you know, beautiful, beautiful sight. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that you're kind of not knowing how to express it because a yeah. lot of people don't but they know when they see it that they like it. Mm -hmm. And that's the fun thing about whether it's, you know, putting plants in big pottery or putting statues around, it really does kind of add a little element of whimsy and fun to a garden. Like this one is St. Francis of Assisi. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people have statues of, of the different saints that, especially the ones that have to do with, you know, gardening or nature. So we have this one here and you wanna walk over and I'll show you a couple more. Sounds good. Now this statue has a lot of Eastern influence and I know there's a story behind it. So tell us a little bit about it. There is, you know, there's, there's different Buddhas from different continents. This is the one from India and this Buddha is holding like a pot and the, the significance of that was that he would go to different houses and gather money for poor people or people that needed funds, which I really liked that idea. So that was the one, that, the reason I bought this one. Plus I like the height of it. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty statue. And I have another one called Quan Yin in another part of the garden, so let's run over there. Sounds good. So this Quan Yin is a beautiful statue, so tell me more about it. Well, you know, Quan Yin is a, is a wonderful statue because sometimes you really have to, when you're shopping for statues, really look at their faces because you can always tell when it's a higher quality statue because the faces can be really beautiful and then some not so much. So you want to really look and her face is absolutely stunning to me. And you know, again, you would have to do some research, but I have so many Asian friends, Yolanda, that I love to bring that kind of, of, of garden art into the garden to make them feel at home too. And I have one more that I would love to show you that I think is really one of my favorites. I can't wait. Now there better not be any secrets in this garden I because <laughs> looks like this statue is all seen. So it really I just is. love this piece. It's just a piece of art. It really is. What's beautiful. the story? There's a this story. This is Brahma. Here. And Brahma has four faces because he sees from all things. And I really thought here in the nursery it would be a great area because this is like a a crossroads right here and I love the idea of doing it. and you know another thing Yolanda with any statuary or even with pottery don't be afraid to use something as simple as cinder blocks topped with just a stone to make a pedestal for things because it really makes it feel bigger when it's up like this this statue and it'll do that with plants too and it's a very simple thing to do to make your statue statuary even more beautiful and I think that's great advice always make sure your statues are at eye level so that you're not looking down at them because it always adds a, a better perspective yeah and don't be afraid to grab statues from all different cultures because it is honoring their cultures as well as our own because it That's is what we're about in is, America mixing it up it's mixing <laughs> it up and it is it's honoring all of our traditions it's and true. that's a wonderful thing 